Hello, today I will show you how to implement Pomodoro clock in Node-RED. And why? Just because I was looking for this in the Google and I wasn't able to find it actually and that's it. Because in a stock firmware, in Ulanzi TC001 device, there is a Pomodoro clock. So I decided that I would implement something like this. I will create it because I want to have some functionality in AWT Lite, and that was the reason. Okay, so here you can see the flow in JSON format, and I will implement uh, this flow in a moment, and you will be able to download it from my website so feel free to modify it according to your needs and now we will switch to browser here there is a flow that i already implemented into the node how to make it work how to implement this so all you need to do is just to click plus to add a flow and now you can see there is a flow number one and then you need to click these three horizontal lines hamburger menu and just uh, select option import and then uh, you need to go back to this uh, for a moment and you need to use ctrl a to select all the flow ctrl c to copy it and then go back to the browser and paste it like here and uh, hit import okay import a copy because i already uh, have this flow uh, here and you can see it's important. So then you can just uh, select all of this, click with the right button on all any of the selected uh, option. Um, then you need to uh, choose a group selection, and that's it. And then you can select this one and move it freely. I will get rid of this because I already this uh, I have this flow here. So I already did it and now uh, it's time to focus on some things. Now, first of all, there is a very uh, important information. You need to watch my previous videos, previous tutorials, how I implemented MQTT broker in my home assistant because this is a node red flow for MQTT broker uh, in home assistant. And if I will click on any, uh, because those two are the same, you can see I'm using this topic and here is the prefix. So the prefix is taken exactly from this MQTT section and uh, from this field AWTrix you can see this prefix here. So um, you need to use it. It will be different than mine because each time you uh, flash the device the mm, prefix is different. So you need to provide this prefix here and then you can see there is a server section so you need to click on the pencil and you need to provide the IP address of the MQTT broker and the default node board and um, also connect automatically using session so you should have all these uh, options selected as I have and then you have a security tab here you need to provide MQTT user that you will create in the beginning so you yeah, one more time, watch the previous tutorial how I achieved this and messages. So here I added mm, it three times and for each uh, is uh, different uh, because this is the message sent on connection, then before disconnecting and on unexpected disconnection. So I set it like you can see here and I really recommend this uh, to set it this way as I did. Okay, cancel it. And now cancel and this one is exactly the same because it um, it's just uh, one connection. So you configure it only once and then all the flows are using the same MQTT broker connection. Fine. And then we will focus on orange section. So I'm just because here we have our uh, functions here. Um, they are uh, defined here in this file, but it's good to see this. So, if I will click on all those uh, four one by one, so you will see that uh, we can focus on payload uh, section. So here you have a text, icon, color, and duration. So for 25 minute clerks, I have uh, 1500 seconds and uh, duration. And uh, for the rest of communicate, I set it to 20 seconds. And I think this is really enough. 
and you have a text, you have an icon, you have a color. So color, yeah, so you can use Google hacks and like this. So I will show you how to use it hacks just like that. And hex color, and you can see you can use on this hex here. So if you will FF0000, it should be red. And if it will be 00 FF zero zero will be green, etc. etc. So we can pick any color from this also here, and you can pick the one and you will have the value in hex. So you need to use this to um pick up a proper color and then replace it with the hex value here. What about icons? I'm using three. 82, this one and this one. So I will copy, for example, this one and I will go back to AW Tricks Lite web uh, panel and in icons section, this is this one, the preview, the Pomodoro clock and Pomodoro icon, 82, it's a uh, uh, clock and then also there is a stop worker function, you can see it's also the same thing, but here I'm using a different icon, so I will use it, and I will click it here, preview. So each time, hit preview, then download, save. Next ID, preview, download, save. Next ID, preview, download, save. That's it. So every time uh, you want to upload an icon, you can pick it from my flow or you can go to Lametric web uh, you can you can have this URL here and I will also provide this URL in my tutorial and you will be able to um, use uh, something like Pomodoro so we can look for a uh, Pomodoro or eventually you can look for a tomato icon the same thing and it will look for the tomato icon here we go and what more um, nice pomodoro and that is funny some some of them are animated icons and the same for coffee so we can look for uh, any of the icons for coffee and that is so i just pick it up id and paste it here and that it actually because um all of this uh is um really uh, easy to understand and duration color I can text change it and it will be working for you um, that's it and what about this uh, this is just an inject node so you don't have to focus on inject node because they are really really simple and I do not recommend uh, touching it just because there is nothing here actually <laughs> um, they are injecting nodes as always. So that was a, a quick overview and now how it is working. Um, we have this um, I can see this small uh, squares here and so if you will click it we can see it's highlighted so every time you click it you start or you can stop it like here. So the first one is start work time. And the second one you can see start break timer. So work timer is for 25 minutes and break is for 5 minutes. Okay, let's start both this one and this one. Go to my camera and you can see it's working just because behind my back you can see break timer left and you have a final countdown. So it displays the icon of the coffee and now I will stop the break timer and then I will go back for a moment to discommunicate here and I'm talking about this I can break timer uh, stopped if it will end the communicate will be different just because there will be an information break timer ended that's it and the same for work timer so let's go back to the browser and here I have this option to you can I can change uh, next and previous up and go back to node red and here we go it's loaded and now I will uh, stop the work timer and I will go to the camera now and I will then show you that this is in fact working and that's it and here we go 
break timer and stopped and work timer stop so this is it it is working without any problem i hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much have a nice day or night take care bye bye